So if one enjoys being alone, it means they are definitely better organized psychologically, emotionally, far better organized than others. Personally, I've spent a lot of time by myself in the jungles of southern India, in the Himalayas. Now every year I spend time in Tibet. These days it's very difficult for me to be alone. <laughs> People are all the time. And do you alone. like that? Is that something that you, you now seek, that, that time alone? Or I'm at my best when I'm alone. People sit by themselves and mess with themselves and make a mess out of themselves. Mm. If they stay alone, they'll go crazy, a whole lot of people. If one knows… if one enjoys being alone, it means they are definitely better organized psychologically, emotionally, far better organized than mm. others. People go into silence. For… Uh, from three days to three years, four years like this, people go on silence not saying a word to anybody. Initially, it looks like a struggle, but once you really taste what it is, you can't be without it. Mm. So it's like this. If I shut myself up once in a way from everything around me, I don't read anything, I don't watch television, I don't use the phone, I don't even look out of the window. Because there is a phenomena of life within you, which is far bigger than all the entertainment you have. Because most people are only living with their psychological drama of their own thought and emotion, they get bored, they want to do something else, they want interaction. If I just sit there, for five days I don't have a single thought in my mind, I simply sit. They are the best times, if I do that once, next few years non-stop, no vacation, no holiday, no weekly holiday, no nothing, we just go on and on and on. <laughs> People around me think I'm superhuman. No, this is not about being superhuman. This is about realizing being human is super. It, <laughs> it is not for nothing, it is not for nothing that we are the peak of evolution on this planet. But now all most be human beings can do is complain because you've not explored the full depth and dimension of what a human being is. Like you're not just body, there's something more to this. Body you accumulated, what you call as my mind is an accumulation of impressions. This is a heap of food, that is a heap of impressions. Between these two heaps, where the hell are you? If you're conscious that you're mortal and it's a limited amount of time, naturally you would tweak up your energies to such a level that time would be enhanced for you. Mm. Otherwise, if you think you are here forever, you think you are an eternal being, then you have time for all kinds of rubbish that you don't care for. If you knew it is very limited, you wouldn't do one thing that doesn't matter to you, isn't it? Would you have time to quarrel with somebody? Would you have time to bicker with someone else? do some nonsense that doesn't matter to you, you would do only what truly, truly matters to you. If every moment of your life, if you're doing what really, really matters to you, you will live a wonderful life. Beautifully said.